the function f of x is graphed on the set of axes below, and they want to know what is the equation for the axis of symmetry of f of x. So this is really a vocabulary thing, right? Do you know what an axis of symmetry is for a parabola? So the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that passes through the vertex of the parabola and splits it in half. So the vertex of the parabola, I'll zoom in a little bit, is this blue dot that I'm drawing right here. It's the turning point, right? It's the maximum or minimum, depending on which way your parabola is facing. So for this problem, it is our minimum value. This of symmetry is going to be a vertical line that passes through there. So it's going to be this blue line that I'm drawing now. All right, now vertical lines all have the same x value, right? If I look at this blue line and I go to the point, well, let's just go to the vertex to start with. This is the point negative 1, negative 3. If I go to the point right above it, that's negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 0. So you notice that every vertical line is always going to have the same x coordinate. So that's why the equation of a vertical line is always x equals some value. So that's going to help me eliminate two answer choices here that can't possibly be the answer, right? And that is three or four right off the bat are gone because those are horizontal lines and our axis of symmetry is a vertical line. So now I just have to make sure I have the right x value. My blue line goes through all points where x is negative one and so number one is our answer choice there.